I'm ready. You want me to start? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I do. Yeah. All right, today we are in a West Black Forest area. You guys may have saw, we did a video about West Black Forest a couple weeks ago, but today we're gonna give you an in-depth tour on an area we drove through a little bit, and it's called Woodmore. My opinion, the best kept secret in the monument area. We're gonna give you a tour of some commercial space that's close by. We're gonna do a big driving tour of the area. Gonna take you through a little um, down by Woodmore Lake. And then we're gonna show you a pretty sweet house at the end of the video. So you gotta stay tuned for that. Yes, yeah, you don't wanna miss the house at the end of this video. It's gorgeous. It's so representative of this area. I'm super excited for this tour. Let's go. Let's get it. All right, so when we do this Woodmore tour today, you guys are gonna see a ton of nice houses and a ton of trees and just all that Woodmore offers. But what a lot of people don't know is Woodmore is right on I-25. It's right on the edge of kind of the developed area of Monument. So behind me, you can see, I call it a strip mall. I don't really know what the right term is, but Wesley Owens Coffee is up here. I go there a lot. I live close by. You guys probably know that. I love this area, so I go there a lot for coffee. And Pikes Peak Brewing Company, also right behind me here. And I don't know if you saw it or not, but we actually did a brewery tour of Colorado Springs Best Breweries, and we finished at Pikes Peak Brewing. So definitely check that one out if you haven't seen it yet. So you get this nice commercial space right across I-25 is the heart of Monument. We did a Monument tour over there, so you guys can check that out as well to see all the commercial space and the quaint little shops over there. But like I said, a lot of folks don't realize that Woodmore, this Black Forest treed acreage lots area is right on the edge of Monument. So you're close to restaurants, some of the basic shopping you need. You're not 20 minutes from everything, but you're still in the trees. So let's go take that driving tour now so you can really get a feel for what Woodmore offers on the housing side. All right, so time for a fun little driving tour of Woodmore. We're leaving the uh, Woodmore Center where Chris just showed you some of the commercial space, a delicious coffee shop. Get the Wesley's Caramel if you go there. It's so freaking good. Um, we're gonna take a little driving tour here, check out uh, some of the real estate that's available up here. Um, most of it was built in the uh, 80s, uh, some throughout the 90s, but there is a pocket of some new homes built in the last five, six years or so, right here kind of centered around the lake. We're gonna come back here later for our home tour, so make sure you stay tuned. Uh, but it was Campbell and I believe some uh, Vantage homes all kind of built around the lake, built some really, really cool homes right there. Um, so some great options there. And then uh, as we get further up into the trees, you'll know notice the homes get a little bit older but this is where you get that that privacy and kind of tranquility and space and peace that we were talking about all of this back here is what people really want to move to Woodmore for now uh, Chris what do you think on prices most most of the time up here I'm yeah um, it's man like you said because everything's built in the 80s and you have these older homes you got a pretty wide range depending on how, yeah. you know, how updated they are so a nice bigger home updated, you're, you know, like low seven figures, like one to one, two maybe. Mm -hmm. But then for kind of the sweet spot, most of the homes I would say are around like that eight to 950, somewhere yeah. in that range, I would say. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, what I'm seeing a lot of. Now I have seen some stuff um, kind of in what I would call like lower Woodmore um, in all the way down to like the low sixes. Okay, which yeah. was really surprising. Now at the low sixes are you are you living in the trees up here i mean man this is really pretty i don't get up to woodmore a lot like chris does um so i'm kind of seeing a bunch of stuff not really for the first time but with uh with some fresh eyes and this is this is hard to beat what you're really paying for when you get up here is the peace and the space and and the quietness and that convenient access over to I-25. I think a big thing that people um, really like about Woodmore is that they want, like you said, they want that elbow room, they want that space, but they don't want two and a half to five acres or more mm. to take care of. Yeah. So Woodmore is an awesome, just kind of sweet spot. Cause like you said, you're closer to acre lots and because of the trees, they really feel like they're just, like you have a lot of room around, you have a lot of privacy but then you don't have as much to take care of. So I think that's why a lot of people really, really love the Woodmore area. Tell me about the uh, the Woodmore Country Club up here, Chris. Yeah, so it is a country club, but not like a snooty country club like you might think of. Yeah. I like it because, I mean, for one thing, for the Black Forest, greater Black Forest area, it kind of, it is the thing, right? There's not a bunch of country clubs around the area. So I personally don't golf a lot, but 
friends tell me that the 18 hole golf course here is pretty dialed in. We have a membership here because they have a huge new resort style pool that they just built a couple years ago. So, you know, you got a splash pad area, lap lanes, other pool stuff. It's got like the, you know, little whatever restaurant thing outside where you get burgers and drinks and all that jazz. So there's social stuff, obviously. There's a tennis area, an indoor lap pool. So just the amenities for that kind of stuff are pretty nice. Pickleball courts, of course, you gotta have pickleball courts now. Ah. Um, but yeah, so anyway, it is kind of the thing for the area. I do know if anyone's thinking about it, they are just about full on membership. So go on to the get left. it while it's hot, just go straight. We should talk about the school district uh, while we're taking the Oh yeah, so Woodmore, it's, all, it's D38 which is one of the highest rated, man, you guys know, if you've seen many of our videos, we always kind of say 12, 20, and 38. You guys can check out niche.com. Those are usually the highest rated ones. D38 is right there at the top. Um, so it is a school district that people will buy into specifically because of the school district. So people yeah. love D38. You've got two high schools close by, Lewis Palmer, um, which is just down off of Higby and Jackson mm -hmm. Creek. And then you have Palmer Ridge, which is kind of just it's right on the edge of Woodmore between Woodmore and I-25. So yeah. two high schools, and I think there's probably like three or four middle schools and then a slew of elementary schools around. Lake Woodmore. Adjust your expectations of what a lake is, okay? Depending on where you're coming from in the country, this isn't a lake, this is a pond. But in Colorado, this is absolutely a lake and we're surrounded by all these houses and developments right here. So just a minute ago, that's kind of where we were driving all over Woodmore. Um, just so you know, no recreational activities are permitted on this lake. This is a drinking water supply. So, um, so no paddle boarding or swimming around or doing any sort of that stuff. But you can see there are just some awesome properties set back against this lake. And we're gonna go tour one just on the other side. You guys are gonna love it. Beautiful lake views pouring right over to the mountains. It's gonna be awesome. Let's go check it out. I told you guys we had a special home to tour today and we do, but real quick, if you guys have been following along with the channel, you know this channel is all about where to eat, work, live, play, all right here in the Colorado Springs and Pikes Peak area. But if you didn't know, we are licensed realtors here in the state. As much as we love making these videos, we love to help our clients <laughs> find their dream home. So, Reach out to us down below if you are thinking about making the move to Colorado Springs and buying a home here, we got your back. Again, I found this special property for you guys today. Check this out. This is insane. Lake and mountain views right there. I mean, even I didn't really know this was possible right here in the Colorado Springs area, but this is just gorgeous. And all of that right here, 25 minutes or I'm sorry, 25 minutes, five minutes from I-25. You've got convenient access to the whole I-25 corridor. All the commercial space that we were just talking about is three or four minutes away. Uh, the other side of Monument, where we did our Monument tour video, is all uh, just on the other side of I-25 right there, maybe six, seven minutes away. I mean, what more could you ask for? Oh, Christopher. Enchanté. Welcome. Welcome to quintessential Woodmore home. I don't know what Tech Sam said outside, but I'm gonna tell you that this house, it's 1980s. Now this house has been, had a lot of updates. You guys can kind of see we got fresh carpet, floors are redone, new stonework, but the layout is still that layout. Like I said, I don't know what it was with the 80s, but there were some interesting ones. But it's Woodmore, that's what it is. A lot of homes up here are exactly like this. So that's why it's a good one to show you guys. So let's give the tour. Great room, yes. obviously. Great room with- Did you guys talk know, about the views? Unparalleled okay. views yeah, out yeah. here. This is- Lake and mountains. Lake and mountains. Can't really complain about that too much. No. So no. this house, um, let's talk about the layout a little bit. Yeah. Because it is the interesting part of it. This mm -hmm. house is priced at 850? 840 currently 840. as it stands okay. today. 840 currently. 
I, I still think it's a great deal at A40. I mean, this is pretty hard yeah. to find. You're on a 15,000 square foot lot yeah. here. There's some scrub oak back there giving you some privacy, some shrubbery and trees in the front giving you some privacy. And again, the lake, the mountains. Now, like Chris yeah. said, the layout's a little bit different than your traditional home. This was built in 93. Oh, is it 93? Okay, yeah, well, 93. they carried that 80s layout over to yes, the 90s a little yes, bit. Yes, they did a little bit. And the master, I think, is what's really special in this one. Again. The layout's interesting because you got the master bedroom up top. The entire floor is your master yeah. bedroom. And then two bedrooms down below. Over here, your office, which could be converted um, back into a fourth bedroom. So make uh, interesting layout. Yeah, so no, yeah. All the, like, so no bedrooms on the main level right now. You got the kitchen, which goes down to, I love the sunken dining room. You don't really see that much anymore. In this house, I think it's, it's like a lot of wood more. You have some updates, but not fully updated. So like I said, you got floors, carpet, some stonework, new paint, trim's all been painted. Countertops have been resurfaced. So they are the original tops, I'm guessing, but they've been resurfaced. Yeah. A little bit older appliances. So it's kind of that mix of updated stuff and not updated. And that is, that's classic Woodmore. That's what a lot yeah. of the area is for sure. Here we are. I don't even know if you could call it a, a master suite or a primary suite. It's like the primary floor. It's the master level, the primary yeah, level. <laughs> it's the entire thing. I mean, honestly, it's pretty freaking cool. Yeah, so you've got, so we're in what would be kind of the the sitting room area of the master level. You've got a wet bar over here with the fridge, double-sided fireplace, and then out front, again, this is right above the dining room, so you have all the big windows as well. And the views are even better from up top than what they are oh, down yeah. below. You can actually, the cl cl clouds have cleared a little bit. You can see the peak over oh, there now. Yeah. That's so, yeah. incredible. Yeah, literally from peak to lake, yeah. views. This it's... Is, it's pretty wild, it's pretty wild. Little, now this is, like we talked about, mix of updated and not updated, right? So here, you've got some resurfaced tops, but you've got the original white oak cabinets. You've got the glass block. You don't see much of the glass block anymore, do you? No, I think but it's kind of cool. a size shower, though. I think, I don't know, I'm a fan of like, you liking it? the okay. glass block. I am, I really am. Real quick, yes. let's go check out the backyard. Yeah, I think let's do that because we've been talking about pine trees this whole time, but the western side of Woodmore, you kind of get out of the pine trees, but you get into the heavy scrub oak, which yeah. is a totally different feel. It is. One of the things I didn't mention as we were walking in, all the deck spaces in this house have been updated with this super nice Trex deck yeah. out here, all the exterior paint on this home. Uh, I. I think it's a really great home. Honestly. Exterior's dialed in, yeah, like you yeah. said, fresh paint, fresh decks, all that stuff. Now, right, I know, it's, what is it? It's May something right now, probably? Yeah, early May. So right now, obviously not that pretty because all the scrub oak, nothing's bloomed yet, but right, you can just imagine all these scrub oaks are bloomed out, yep. and this is gonna be super private. Like, you won't be able to see anything past no. these trees right here. So this right here is what you get a lot in kind of the western part of Woodmore, where you get a mix of a few pine trees here and there, but yep. then a lot of scrub oak. Yep. So it's a different feel, but it still gives you a ton of privacy when you have those around your house. Man, you said when we started out driving, like, dang, kind of forgot what it's like up here. Yeah. I'm in Woodmore all the time just because I live on this part of, in this part of town, on this side of town, but I still feel the same way. Every time I drive through Woodmore, I'm like, man, if I didn't live out in Black Forest on a little bit larger acreage, I would definitely live in Woodmore because yeah. you get a lot of that same feel. You're closer to amenities, which is a big downfall of where I live. So you're closer to amenities. You still get the elbow room, the space. You got some large homes. You can find some value in here too, which is oh, another yeah. thing I love about the little bit older homes that haven't been updated. You can get that house for, you know, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars do some rebottling and now you got a house that's in the seven figures. So yeah. a lot of upside potential as well for Woodmore. 100%, yep. So as I mentioned earlier, if you are looking to make the move here to Colorado Springs, definitely reach out, definitely give us a call. We're the guys who answer the calls, emails, text messages, all that. And we got your back when you're moving to Colorado Springs. For now, this has been Woodmore. Woodmore. We'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.